Hey guys, Jane here with another crocheted square tutorial. Today we're going to do the half moon crocheted square. So it looks like we take a circle and we divide it in two and then we make it back into a square working with two different colors. So it's a lot of fun, not as hard as it looks. So grab your hooks, grab your yarn and let's get crocheting. So I'll be using two colors for this square, color A and color B. I'm going to be using a worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook, and I'll have some scissors and a darning needle handy. All my squares work in a variety of weight of yarn. Just use the crochet hook that corresponds with the yarn that you're using. It's usually suggested on the label. I love to work my squares mostly in worsted weight, sometimes in a DK weight. The written instructions that I'll be using for this pattern are available at the link in the description below. And if you're already on my email list, you'll have received this in your inbox. So gather your supplies, choose your two colors, and let's get going on this square. So we're working with two colors. Our color A will be this off white, and our color B will be this nice green. So starting off with our foundation, we're using color A and we're going to chain four. So again, we make our slip stitch, Whatever way works best for you, I like to loop it around my finger. Then I form it into a pretzel by folding it over. And then I pick up this bottom rung right here and pull it tight, pull both strands tight, pull it up to my loop. That's my beginning slip stitch. So now we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna slip stitch in the first chain to form our ring. Now you can do a magic ring to start off as well, but this time I'm showing you how to do a chain stitch ring. So we have our foundation ring of chain four. Now going on to round one, continuing with our color A, we're going to chain two. That counts as our first half double crochet. Then we're going to work five more half double crochet into this ring. So yarn over, insert the hook into the center of the ring, and I like to work over top of the end here. So I work it into my first round. So we're gonna pull through and create our first half double crochet. So we, when we count the chain, that actually makes two half double crochets. And we're doing five more, so ultimately we end up with six. So let's keep going until we get the requirement. So five more of the half double crochets, that's three, four, and five. So we have six total when we count the chain. Next we want to change to our color B. So if I show you on a piece we've already done, we've now done this first semicircle here and we're gonna do the other half of the circle in the other color. So we're going to change to color A and the way I like to change is to actually go back and change in this last stitch. So I'm going to take out that last half double crochet and I'm going to make half of that half double crochet. So pulling up so I have three loops. This is where I'm going to join my next color. This is how I like to join in this particular project. So taking my color B, I'm going to wrap it around the hook and pull through all three loops on the hook and I've now changed to my color B. So we're now we're gonna continue the round. So you've got a lot hanging out here. I wanna work over top of all three of these other strands and get them tucked into the work. So wrapping the yarn around with color B, you're gonna insert into the center of the ring and I'm gonna pull all these other three strands over top of the loop. So it gets a little bulky here and a little awkward. Now I'm going to wrap the yarn around again, pull through three loops on the hook, and then pull through all three. So that's our first half double crochet in color B. And I've worked these three pieces of yarn into the back of the work. So the instructions want us to work six half double crochets in B. So we've already worked one. Continuing to work these ends into the back of your work, yarn over, go into the loop, Make sure these three ends are over top of your hook. So again, there's a lot of like holding things in place here. And then finish a half double crochet. So that's two, continue on. We want six all together. That's three, that's four, that's five, and one more is six. 
So I'm not going to complete this one because again, I'm going to change my color back to color A, and I like to do it in the end of the half double crochet. So dropping color A, picking up color, I'm sorry, dropping color B, picking up color A and finding it there at the back, doesn't really matter where you pick it up from. You're going to complete that half double crochet. You've now changed your color and you're at the end of round one. And we want to slip stitch to the second chain of your beginning chain two. So one, two, you want to slip stitch right in here. So I'll show you because we're going to be carrying our yarns around the centers. When I go to slip stitch this stitch, so the hook goes into that chain two, I want my color B to be over top of my hook so that I can pick it up neatly at the back. And then I'm going to slip stitch. So pull the yarn through, pull the color A through both the stitch and the loop on the hook and you've locked it in place. You've joined round one. You have your two ends back here just hanging down and you have color A already started to work into the next round. So now we're going to continue on with round two with color A, chain two. Then you're going to work two half double crochet in the next stitch. So that's this little awkward stitch here. Yarn over, insert into that stitch, which is a little tricky to get into, and then keep this color B over top of the hook. You're going to be working it in all the way around, less ends to tie in at the end. So yarn over, pull through, finish your half double crochet, do another one, making sure you're always working under that color B. So there's two half double crochet. Color B is now worked in. You can see it at the back there. And continuing on, you want to work two half double crochet into next stitch. You want to do that five times. So we've done it once because it's in brackets and you want to do it five times total. So we go two into this one, always working over that color A, uh, B, green, <laughs> so that it will be here when we need it. So again, two half double crochet into next stitch. And it's okay if it sits a little loose right now. You don't want to pull, you don't want to pull the one you're carrying too tight. It'll bunch your work. You can adjust it when you get to the point where you want to switch. So another two half double crochet. So I'm going to go back and just see here. We did our chain two, then we did one, two, three, four, and five sets of those two half double crochets. Now we want to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. So we go ahead and the stitch here you'll see is a green stitch, continuing to work with that green yarn working in. And now you want to change your color. And again, I like to change my color before I complete the last half double crochet. So pick up that green that's been carrying along with us changing to color B, pull through all three loops on the hook. And now you've changed your color halfway through the round. So now you want to do half double crochet in the same stitch. And again, we want color A to be worked in. So keeping color A on top of the hook, you're going to work it into the back. And then we're going to go ahead and do two half double crochet in your next stitch. And you're going to do that five times. So again, keeping color A worked in at the back. I'll just show you here. You can see that color B is worked in all the way around that round. And now we're starting to work color A into the back. And again, we wanted five of those two half double crochets. So you got both yarns coming off the back here. So that can be a little confusing and it does take a little bit of practice um, to not get them all knotted up back there, but it all comes in time. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And now I think I've done my five. Let's go back and just look. So I did the single half double crochet in the color B. And then I needed five sets so I can see them there. One, two, three, 
four, and five. You can use a piece of paper if you want to keep track of how many times you've done it. So now that we've done the five, we want to do a half double crochet in same stitch as the slip stitch join. So here's where showing you on video is easier for me because you would think the same stitch, and it is, the same stitch as the one you joined in is right over here, right there. But if I do that, and I'll show you, I'll work a half double crochet into that slip stitch, which is difficult to get into. And I'll finish that. See how it crosses over the white? And that would really show. That would not look good. So instead, we're going to work into this part. When we join with the slip stitch, it now acts as the first stitch. So technically, this is the first stitch of the round, and it's easier to see because we changed our color with this stitch. It's really just a loop that is created when you joined into the chain two from the previous round. But I have found in this particular pattern, that is the best place to work into. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna work our last half double crochet into this loop where we changed our color keeping the color A over top as well so that we keep on carrying it around. And this is where we're going to change our color. So dropping color B, picking up color A, wherever that is, and working our final loop. We've now changed our color. And now we can join with a slip stitch to the chain two of our beginning chain, which is one, two, right here. So we're going to go in there. And again, uh, I want to carry my B, so I need it to go over my hook. If I didn't, then I'd get long strands at the back, and I'd, I'm trying to sh not have those long strands show up. And then we're going to slip stitch to end our round. That's end of round number two. And then if I flip this over, other than these two ends that will eventually get worked in, uh, I'll darn these in at the end. We've been working in the yarn and it looks quite tidy back here. So by carrying our yarn, we're eliminating all the ends that would have to get darned in. And really, as long as you're consistent, I know if you look really close, you're like, well, I can see a little bit of green there and a little bit of white here. But you'll find when you do it consistently, it just looks like part of your work. And it really doesn't show once you block this out. So we're going to go ahead to round three. So round three says with color A, slip stitch in the next stitch. So we're going to go ahead here in this little awkward first stitch, which is after the chain two, we're going to slip stitch in that. And again, I want to carry my color B. So it has to go over the hook, even for this slip stitch. So we're going to go ahead and slip stitch that locks that in place and pull it all the way through. Now the reason I slip stitched one stitch over is because when you're working in the round, there's a natural bias to rotate the work, like the work rotates by itself. Just, it's just the way crochet in the round works. So I, trying to keep this as straight as possible, because I will be squaring it out, I have to shift my starting point over by one stitch. I've done a lot of experimenting with this, and this seems to be the best way to get a straight, a straight semicircle line. So again, round three, working with color A and trying to work in color B as we go. We slip stitched in the next stitch. Then we want to chain two. That counts as our first half double crochet. And then we want to half double crochet in the same stitch. So we go back into that same stitch, making sure that our color B is over top of the hook. Wrap our yarn round, bring it through and finish our half double crochet. So we've locked that color B into our round. Then we're going to, in brackets, half double crochet in next stitch. Remember, keeping color B on, on top. You hold it in place with your other finger. Half double crochet in next stitch, and then two half double crochet in your next stitch. So that's all in brackets, and we want to do that five times. So the half double crochet in the next stitch, then two in the next stitch. So we're still increasing, we're just increasing outward. So we haven't want to do that five times. We've done it once. So we're going to go ahead, continuing to work our color B in, and I'll meet you up here at this corner. 
after we've done it five times. Okay, we have worked our way through the five repeats. And now we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. So you're actually going into a green stitch, pulling up a loop, and this is where we're going to change to color B. So dropping color A, picking up color B, complete that stitch, and you've made the change. So round three, we now have half of it done in color A, and we're going to proceed to finish it in color B. Now at this point, I'm going to leave my color A at the back. Because of the way that this has worked, I'm not going to need it until I get all the way back to this point. So I don't need to carry it all the way around for no reason. So at this point, leave color B lying at the back. You do not need to carry it around. And we're going to finish round three. So two half double crochet in the next stitch. Again, not worrying about having to carry the yarn. And then a single half double crochet in the next stitch. And we want to do that six times. So I'll meet you back here when you've completed that six times. So I've done it five times. You're joining me for the sixth one. So we go two half double crochets. And then a single half double crochet into this stitch that's white, because if you remember, we slip stitched over to the second stitch. So this is actually the first stitch that wasn't worked. So we go in and finish our last half double crochet and we're not changing our color. We're going to proceed with color B. So we join with a slip stitch to the second chain of the beginning chain two. And now we move on to round number four. So we're ready for round number four, and this is where we're going to start to square off our circle. So you see, we're going to continue with color B. So let's go ahead, put our hook back on there. We're not carrying color A right now, because you can see it's here waiting for us where we're going to need it. We've got these two ends that are going to get darned in later, and you can see everything else has been worked in nice and tidy. So round number four, continuing with color B, chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in the same stitch that we joined in. So in we go, and we do a single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So again, this is where it gets awkward. This next stitch is always a little scrunched. It just sits different than the others. So there's our two first single crochets. Then we have a star, which means we've got a big repeat coming. We're going to half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we go with our half double crochet and that's two. So we're working our corner here. So we're going to get higher and higher with our stitches until we hit the corner. Then in a bracket, which is the corner, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So all into this next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, and that creates our corner. Then we're going to half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then single crochet in each of next four. So we're working our way along the straight part now of our square. So we've got four of these. Then we're going to half double crochet in each of next two. So working our way around back to the next corner. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all in brackets into the next stitch. So this is our next corner. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And that's our corner. So we're turning and coming around half double crochet in each of next two. And then single crochet in each of next two. So you'll see here we've made it all the way around half of our square. So we want to change to our color A, and again, we need to change in that last stitch. That's where I like to change. So I'm going to take that last stitch back out, 
and we're going to work our single crochet changing to color A, which is sitting right here waiting for us. So we're going to bring up one loop and then to complete that, drop color B, pick up color A. Don't pull too tight. You'll have a little bit of a, a strand there, but it won't show. And you've changed to color A and we're going to work the second half of our squared out circle. So single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we're going to go in and as we do this, we pick up color B and put it over our hook because we're going to work color B in so that we have it when we come back to this end here. So single crochet in each of next two stitches. Then we're going to go repeat from single star to double star. So back we go half double crochet in each of next two and continue to work your color B into your work. And we're going to do what we've already done, but with color A this time. Then we have our corner stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet and we've turned the corner. Now we work across our straight stretch to half double crochet. Notice I'm still working color B. It's still with me. And then four single crochets, two, three, oops, three. My yarn is having a little bit of a knot fast back here. Three and four. And then two half double crochets. Then we work our corner stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And we're coming around the corner, two half double crochets. And then we're gonna do, to finish it off, we wanna do uh, two single crochets in the last two stitches and again we want to change our color here so we drop our color a and pick up our color b we change our color and we're ready to close up our round we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet of the previous round so just slip stitch her in there and you're now finished round number four so we're ready for round number five which is our last round and we're going to go ahead. Now you have an option here to continue to carry your yarn all the way around and then we'll carry and then we, we can actually drop the green but it's up to you whether you want to carry this color A at this point. I sometimes choose to cut it here because there really is a long way to go and I don't think I need to be carrying it that far. The further you carry the yarn the more likely you may be to mess with the tension of your square and it also now that you're going into the second row of this green that white might start to show way out here so it's up to you if you want to continue to carry it but I'm going to cut mine and then just bring it back in at the other side so my color A again I leave about you know four four to five inches so I can get a nice good darn in at the end and we're going to continue on to round five with only color B so chain two, that counts as our first half double crochet. And then we half double crochet in each of next four stitches. So this one is a lo lot more straightforward. It's all half double crochets. We're just creating a nice frame around our square. Then we want a half double crochet. So there's a star, which is, again, we're going to do a repeat. Star half double crochet in next chain one space. So we're working that first chain one space of the corner. Then we work another corner section, which is half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, all into this double crochet stitch that's in our corner. So go right into that stitch, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, and that turns our corner. And then we do a half double crochet in the next chain one space. And then we half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So this one's pretty straightforward. So that's two and continue on till you get to 10. And this is our 10th. Then we half double crochet in the next chain one space. 
and then we work another corner so we work a half double crochet chain two half double crochet into that double crochet from the row below round below then we work a half double crochet in the next chain one space see we're coming around the corner here we're just creating this nice frame so now we're going to half double crochet in the next five stitches and that should be all that we have left for this color and in that fifth half double crochet we're going to change our color to color a so we have to go and pick it up because i cut it this time if you've carried it around then it'll be right there waiting for you I'm going to start it again so just looping that yarn over the hook and finishing that last half double crochet that lets me change my color back to A and because we're on our last round we don't need color B anymore so I'm actually going to cut that one and get it out of the way again about four to five inches that I'll use to darn in later and we're on the second half of our round five so now we've changed to color A and we want to half double crochet in the next five stitches so go ahead and do that so that's one two oops get that end out of my way three four and five and then we are going to go back to the star and it says repeat from star to double star so we're going to half double crochet in next chain one space then we do our corner stitch half double crochet chain two half double crochet then we half double crochet in the next chain one space and then we do 10 half double crochet across our flat side so go ahead and do that meet you back at number 10 okay so i've just completed number 10 then we go ahead and half double crochet in next chain one space then we do our corner half double crochet chain two half double crochet into the double crochet from the row below creates our corner half double crochet into the next chain one space and we're coming around the home stretch we want to half double crochet in each of the next five and that's going to take us to the double star that's two three four and five so now that I've reached the double star I want to finish off my round by joining it suggests joining with a slip stitch I always say that at the end because it's the easiest way to join but again I'll probably do an invisible join here so instead of doing the slip stitch I'll cut my yarn nice four to five inches pull it through and we'll just do one of those nice invisible joins at the end here if you uh, want to see this up closer I do have a video specifically on invisible joins now but we just miss over that chain two we go into the two strands of the first stitch pull it through gently come back and go in where we came out of gently make it match the rest of them and you have that nice invisible join and there we have our completed half moon square so if I flip it over the only ends I have to worry about now are get that yarn out of the way it's not an end the ones at the center that i have to darn in the two on this side and the two back on this side so we're pretty good that's not many ends to darn in the rest of it was all worked in already when you start with a chain four you have this little hole in the center if you don't want that hole in the center i just take the very first color i used which was color uh, a obviously and just give it a little snuggy pull because I worked it in, it snugs up that center nicely. And there you have it. You've made the half moon square. This is a great little modern art square to use in home decor or wearables. It's so versatile and it's so simplistic in its look. Again, you can find the link for the written instructions below in the description, as well as links to my shop where you can find patterns using these squares. All my shop patterns come with crocheted symbol charts, as well as colorway suggestions. Remember, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future tutorials as they come out. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.